I am Maria Garcia de Fleury. Augustine was born in Tagaste, a small town in the north of Africa. From a young age, he knew the religious differences that overwhelmed the Roman Empire. His father was a pagan who honored the old gods. His mother was a Salus Christian. Augustine, as a teenager, was much more interested in sex, good life, and having fun. At the age of 17, his parents sent him to study in Carthage. There, he studied Cicero and the Manichaean philosophy produced by a Persian named Mani. Because of those beliefs, he discarded his mother's religion. After finishing his studies, Augustine returned to Tagaste to teach rhetoric and some Manichaeism. He went to Rome and Milan and became professor of rhetoric. In Milan, he began to attend the cathedral to listen to the speeches of Bishop Ambroso for he was impressed by the things he said and how he said them. This caused him to abandon Manichaeism in favor of Neoplatonism. Augustine had a concubine whom he loved deeply and who had given him a son named Diodato, but he did not marry her. Given his change in philosophy, which made him see the need to abandon his lover, Augustine began to battle with himself. Augustine's conversion, after having read chapter 13 of St. Paul to the Romans, that said, Not in delights and drunkenness, not in lust and debauchery, not in quarrels and rivalries. Rather, arm yourself with the Lord Jesus Christ. Think no more of nature and its appetites. All this caused commotion in his life. He restrained his professorship. He sent a note to Bishop Ambrosio telling him of his conversion and withdrew with his friends and his mother to a rural villa. After six months, he returned to Milan to be baptized by Bishop Ambrose. He wrote a book called The Confessions where he narrates his conversion and says, Late I love you, O Lord. On his way back to Tagaste, his mother's son and friend died. This loss has spurred Augustine to a deeper and more vigorous commitment. He and his friend established a lay ascetic community at Tagaste to spend time in prayer and study of the Holy Scriptures. In the year 391, Augustine traveled to Hippo to see the possibility of establishing a monastery. There he was appointed as a priest and was Bishop Valerio passed away, Augustine became the new Bishop of Hippo. As Bishop, he faced groups that misrepresented the teachings of the Church, such as the Manichaeans, the Donatists, the Pelagians. Augustine's response to protect the Church was produced in 22 volumes over 12 years in his work entitled The City of God. He held that Rome was punished for past seasons sins, not for the new faith. Humanity is divided in two classes, he said, those who live according to men and those who live according to God. We call this the two cities. In the summer of 429, the Vandals invaded North Africa and the city of Hippo was overwhelmed with refugees. In the third month of the siege, Augustine, 76 years old, passed away. Miraculously, His writings survived the Vandal takeover as his theology became one of the main pillars on which the church was built for the next 1,000 years for the glory of God. And friends, with God, we always win.